Spoon, what did you think of the movie? It sucked. All right, Alex. Ready? Are you ready? The world's end is tonight. Cool. That because of that, we have to conquer the icy end. What's that? 12 300 milliliters of pure icy. Tonight. Tonight. So, like, we're going to go to the store and get a couple ICs and... No, 12. 12. 12. 12 ICs. 12 of the greatest. Yeah, um... I don't want to do that. What do you mean? I, I don't want to do that. I generally don't want to do that. Like, I'll have some water. But or you're like, but you're the right hand man. You got to do this with me. I mean, if you don't, then. No, I don't. I, I'm trying to relive my childhood here. I would love to have you with me on this, please. Or what does that have to do with this? I don't get it. Like, 12 of the greatest ices in the world. 12. The flavors are endless. Where uh, where are we gonna get them? Seven Eleven. We're not sponsored by them yet. Soon enough. Are you in? Do I have a choice? No. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. For fuck's sakes. The ICN! Quiet, dude. Alex, Hello. welcome to an incredibly half-assed movie night. Thank you, thank you for having me here. Starring James Wilson. Hey. There he is right there. Hey. Look at him. Hey. There he is. There's hey. the side of his face. Hey, how you doing? Well, no, we're going to be running to get inside because the movie starts... That clock is not correct. The movie starts at uh, 10. Oh, did you know? So... Clock is correct, sir. Is that correct? Absolutely. Is it? Yes. Can we get double checking on that? You don't have to double now, check can, it. Can you double check that, James? Because I don't. It's only. It's like seven minutes off. Yeah, no, it's, it's only, not. It's only Your seven seven phone off. is off, idiot. My phone triangulates satellites throughout the entire world. Your hood is to pull really together interesting the to time. Now, no, you, I, I can see your nose. Uh, dude, we're gonna, um, it just hailed. Here. It did just hail. It did just hail. It was, there was a flash flood warning for uh, our area. A flash flood warning. Flash flood? Did Master Chief come down? Yeah. Man, I hope you guys enjoy this amazing angle I have. I hope you enjoy it. You can slide on the other side and get some of me. <laughs> you can get some of your side nose. More of your side nose. Here, let me do that, actually. People don't get many side nose. People don't, people don't care about Alex. What the fuck? What? There's something on the ground back here. What is that? Don't touch it. Uh, it's a hoodie that looks white, but I think it's black. It's a behemoth hoodie. Oh, stomp all over that. No, don't. So now we can see James. Hello. So the world's end, James. Yeah. What are our thoughts on going to see this film? I hope it's good, but yeah. from what I've been seeing, a lot of people have been disappointed. I hadn't heard anything until you had said that, so you're the only source I have of potential... Review. The thing is, though, people say that it's... They don't say that it's bad, they just say that it's the worst of the three. Oh, really? That it's not what if we as leave strong the theater, as the other two. What if we leave the theater thinking it's the best of the three? I don't know. I could kind of see it being the worst of the three. Why? I don't know, just because I like the premise of the first two more. Yeah. This one. Just Which is your favorite of the first two, Shaun of the Dead or Hot Fuzz? Shaun of the Dead. I don't know. I, I mean, I kind of say like I would say Shaun of the Dead, but I really like. Hot I Fuzz. think Hot Fuzz kind of like Hot Fuzz kind of like had this complete turnaround halfway through the movie where it just got super outrageous, and I like yeah. that. Yeah, it got really over dramatic at a certain point. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, Hot Fuzz would be I would say is my favorite of the. But just the pain that I went through, I think I remember to, to see Hot Fuzz. Because at, at the time, I don't think it was even, like, I don't know if it was playing out out here or not. Yeah. But I remember, like, one of my friends had, like, a horribly bootleg version of it. Yeah. And we watched it on the shittiest of TVs. Yeah. And I still enjoyed it, though. Oh, it's a good movie. It doesn't matter the quality of how you're seeing it for Hot Fuzz. It's just seeing it, you know? I guess. I guess. 
Speaking of quality, the Ben Affleck Batman. Ben Affleck, well that's, fuck everything else about this, Ben Affleck is Batman. <laughs> He's been cast in Batman. That was just the, announced today. I know, my brother texted me, and I was like, what? <laughs> and then I had to tweet about it, because a lot of people were tweeting me at me about it. Everyone was tweeting about it. No, James tweeted about it like I seen the, before me. Because I seen it was trending, yeah. so I was like, what? But... That's just weird, anyway. Well, I was saying, hopefully he, he he does he does what Chris Evans did with Captain America and kind of play opposite the character he usually plays, like Johnny Storm and shit like that. I like the movies that are his movies. Ben Affleck's movies, yeah. Not necessarily the movies that he's, he's in. in. Yeah. yeah. So like the town and Argo. Yeah. What about that Runner Runner movie with him and Justin Timberlake coming out. I didn't see anything. Catch me if you can. That one. That. That's that's been out for a while, ain't it? Catch me. He wasn't in Catch Me If You Can. Yeah, that was, that was. I'm just saying that that was like a movie that came out a long time ago. That was a good movie, though. Yeah, yeah sure. That might have been a hit in 2001 film. <laughs> that might have been 2001. I don't know. <laughs> that's a good movie, though. He's gonna make a terrible Batman. Wow. There are people tweeting at Val Kilmer, telling him like, "You should throw a party because you're no longer the worst Batman." No, George Clooney's the worst <laughs> Batman. What the fuck are people I don't tweeting know. at Val Kilmer for? Val Kilmer is 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 what you he is trending, and people are like tweeting at him to to, you know, like they're like, "I'm sure he's ordering a dozen muffins now because he's on top of the world because he's not the worst Batman anymore." I think like I think Ben Affleck's gonna make a great Batman, but you know I, I I'm always the one to get, for the most part reserve judgment until I see it, but I'm excited because Ben Affleck isn't I he can be an excellent actor, he is an excellent director. He's a turncoat. He went from Marvel to DC. He pulled uh, Ryan Reynolds or Chris Evans, uh, whatever. Well, no, I think Chris Ryan Evans. Ryan Reynolds. Was, uh, yeah, Chris Evans was both Marvel. Yeah, he was all Marvel, like every single fucking. No, no, no he did. Uh, uh, I think, uh, what's it called was DC? Um, the Losers, that's what it was. I think that was the DC movie. DC oh, Vertigo. DC? I don't even think I ever watched it. Yeah. But he played Johnny Storm in that, essentially. <laughs> he was just a cocky, know-it-all, smart-alecky Ryan Reynolds character. Yeah. I want to hear his Batman voice. It'll be interesting. I, I hope they don't, you know, go, Ugh. I don't think they are going to do that. After. I really don't get the, the logic behind it, though. Like, they were like... We really think that Ben Affleck can can bring a more knowledgeable, more experienced Batman. Who said that? Because I didn't see any. Quotes I, it was in the it article. was on a it was on a, like an article that I had seen before where it said like I think Zack Snyder had said that or something really? like that. Really? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see any quotes on the article. And I was just like, what? Like, uh, what? <laughs> like, all right, I guess. Well, the Ben Affleck end. is well past his time. The world's end. Ben Affleck, Batman. They should have got Simon Pegg. As Batman, yeah. he does have a deep voice. Yeah, it could have been him. Yeah. Nick Frost could have been Robin. All right, well, uh, we're going to go see The World's End. I'm excited. James is... Uh, I don't want to believe in the disappointment, but there's a lot of disappointment. You just like to disappoint yourself before you can go. I just want the free food. Yeah? I hope you guys also enjoyed looking at the back of hoods this entire time. Um, that was different. Usually I'm sitting in the front, but James wanted to sit in the front, so... Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thumbs up. All right, Dave, we are foot. here at the Alamo. We're going to see the world's end. We actually made relatively good time. We have like 10 minutes before the movie starts, so we'll get to see some commercials, and then, you know, the movie will begin. So Alamo Draft House. It, I can see it through the trees a little bit. It's all, no, that's, I can't read that at all. All right, gentlemen, let's go see the gentlemen. world's end. Let's go see the world's end. Okay? 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 What? All right. Yeah, where's the food at? Yeah. Da, da, da. We are back from the movie theaters. What is that face you're making right there? Theaters. Anyway, we're back. You're wearing a nice shirt. Where'd you get that shirt, James? Undisclosed location. Undisclosed location. We got back from the world's end. What did we think about it, fellas? Probably start. Do we want to start with James? James, do you want to take the lead or? Uh, I guess. I thought it was good. Yeah. I could see why people thought it was the weakest of the three. Yeah. Kind of felt that. Turn your monitor off. The auto adjust is going crazy with the light. There we go. It's bright again. Hey. <laughs> kind of felt that way though. Yeah, like it was the 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 weakest 
uh, link in the chain. I just felt like they did uh, they did a lot more random like stuff. Like I really like the um, dude from The Hobbit. I like this character. Martin Freeman, yeah. But I wish they would have done more with him. Yeah. Uh, kind of the same deal with the other guy. Uh, not the older guy. Uh, I forget his name. Peter? Uh, was it Steven? Steven? Steven. Was it the construction dude or the yeah, other guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like those two, I felt like maybe a little bit more to them. Because it seemed like right when they were getting a little bit to them, they like just kind of steered right back into like Simon and Peg and stuff. And I liked Simon and Peg. I, I thought it was good, but I don't know. Those, those two seemed like they had a spot that they could have did really well. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But overall, it was it was good. It was, I think, probably the weakest of the three, though. Yeah. Yeah. Alex? That's good, though. Mr. Cobble Pet there. Purple plushy Miss Sunshine, and I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was very good. I thought Simon Pegg was a cool guy who isn't afraid of anything like every other movie. Although he had a different role in this one from his other characters. This time around he was a little bit more stupid, Yeah, I guess. Um, I thought it was good. I thought it I thought it's, uh, stood up to the other two movies. Um, and as always, the, they always have a way to mix up the storyline like halfway through, which they did a good job in this one. And even the ending kind of was, uh, was weird as always, but... Yeah. I thought it was uh, that was really good. Definitely worth watching. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I do like the other characters. I'm glad they added more characters this time around. They had a really cool dynamic between all of them. Yeah. Um, it's more so of an ensemble thing because, like, well, I mean, Shaun of the Dead had multiple characters though, like four or five characters, five. Yeah, six yeah. Characters. Think, so. Yeah. But you know, but Hot Fuzz was mainly like a buddy cop kind of thing. Right. I guess that's what I was used to. Yeah. But this time around, they they seem to emphasize more on the other guys. Yeah. Um, giving them, uh, I guess even like Stephen had a a bigger role than the other characters even because he showed up with uh, Simon and uh, Nick Frost. Yeah. He showed up with them in different scenes, like they were the Three Musketeers. So it was interesting. Was yeah. Pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. C uh, Steven, can you name what character he played in Hot Fuzz? Uh, was he the the prime uh, the minister there? No, yeah. he was one of the SWAT guys. He was one of the detectives. He was one of the Andes. Yeah. Oh, the Andy. two guys oh, with the mustaches. Oh, right. He yeah. had he had my, like my favorite line where he's like, "You got a mustache." I know because he has the milk mustache right. on his mustache. It was funny. I guess you had to be there. Had to be there. Um, I'm kind of, as usual, in line with kind of like James. I actually, well, the thing is, like, I didn't think it was. I don't know. I really liked it. I would say it's on par with the other. I'd say it's on par with Shaun of the Dead, maybe a little bit lower. So yeah, I guess it would be the the lower of the three. Still really good. Um, but yeah, it didn't didn't top Hot Fuzz. I don't think it topped Shaun of the Dead. But it was still a really good movie. Very entertaining. I was interested in what they did with it. They seemed invincible, though. Anytime they fought, like, the robots or whatever, there really seemed to be no element of danger. Like, they were always just kicking their asses, and they never seemed to get too tired when fighting. They never seemed to get too hurt when fighting. Like, it just seemed like they were just going through, and they were inexplicably good at fighting for some reason. But, uh... The yeah. drunken style. The drunken style, yeah. Drunk foo. But, uh... Yeah, it was. There was nothing wrong with it, really. I thought the end took a really kind of random turn. Like the very, very, very end of that movie took a random turn that I didn't necessarily make sense to me. But overall, I thought it was pretty good. Good end to the Cornetto trilogy, and uh, yeah, I like it. Does it all take place in the same universe? Uh, the ice creams are what ties them all together. Yeah, I don't know if it's necessarily the same universe because there was a zombie epidemic and then there was the... Well, the other one was a lot more local, but this one was another global. This one was global. So, I don't think it takes place in the same universe. It's, it's tied together by the same themes. Yeah. 
ice cream. Are you ready for this, Alex? 12. 12 assorted 300 milliliter 7 Eleven slushies. The icy end. We have to conquer it today. You know, I was really hoping the uh, 7 Eleven would be open, but uh, obviously luck wasn't with me today, so. Can I just, get, see, like, can I just get some water? And, like, no. Please, come on. My mom died. What? My mom died. When? Two days ago. Really? Yeah. This was a dying wish to complete the ICN. Fuck man. Sorry to hear that. Okay. Thank you. This was this was the worst idea I think we've ever had. <laughs> we conquered the icy end. Fingers are all sticky. They sure are. They sure are. Sorry about your mom, by the way. My yeah. mom didn't die. Uh, I just said that so that way you would drink with me. Sorry? Smells like fruits in here. <laughs>